Morning guys, Saturday morning. Life is a full contact sport and the only real life hack is hard work. This is a tough one. It took me a long time to master it. We're in love with life hacks now. We are all seeking the shortcut. We're all seeking the hack, yeah? And I love it, you know, I love a health hack, I love a biohack. I love a way to get more efficient. I love a way to work smarter rather than continually working harder. But that has to come from a baseline, guys. That has to come from a set point of hard work. Hard work has to come first because life is a full contact sport and the hits are coming. If you haven't had one already, which I'm pretty damn sure you have, they are coming thick and fast. And you know what? They may come in the darkness. They may come when you curl up at night and you go, oh God, I really didn't try very hard today, did I? I didn't really do any of the things that were going to take me forward. I just ran round and round in a circle like a busy twat. I didn't really make any progress on the things that I keep telling people are important to me. Things I say I'm going to do. I'm not really making progress on any of them, am I? I'm just looking for the shortcut all the goddamn time because you need to do the hard work and you need to know that when you do the hard work it's not going to be guaranteed but it is a baseline it's a goddamn entry requirement you've got to do the hard work that is the big bloody secret half the time now yes i know it ain't all about working hard forever like an idiot and i'm bloody guilty of that you know at the minute i'm in the learning phase massive massive learning phase i've probably spent the last five years just getting over myself just going look stop 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 it stop trying to be cool yeah stop trying to you know hide from your potential all the time and just stay in your comfortable little bubble saying oh no i don't really want those things yeah i know what i do want those things i do want to achieve the goals that i set for myself i'm not trying to forget the goals and go oh no i've outgrown that you know what? i'm 31 years old and i am an infant I am a baby fumbling around in the world trying to learn the lessons, fumbling around, working bloody hard, falling flat on my face on a daily basis. And I'm not, I'm not perfect, guys. I'm not using me as like an example. As like, oh, God, let's go and be like Pete. All I'm saying is be a learner. Be a hard goddamn worker because life is a full contact sport and you are going to get pummeled into the ground of your goals of your fulfillment in life, of your belief that these things are actually achievable. You think they're not achievable because you're not getting them now, but you're not getting them now because you're probably not working very goddamn hard. I'm not on about going to work and working hard all the time. I'm on about working hard on your ambitions. You know, punching that iron every single day. Steel on steel. You have to keep smashing the anvil every single day every single day hard work has got to come first we want to learn how to work smarter but efficiency should come when you have got something you're pushing really really hard and then you're looking for ways for it to move a little bit smoother most people are looking for the hack before they've put in the work they're like how can i just work really efficiently and not work hard no you need to work really bloody hard first and then try and find the efficiencies If you can't convince yourself that working hard is the baseline, you have got a very unfulfilling future lying ahead for you, in my opinion. And this is not just what I think. You know, more and more I work with coaches, with mentors. I have mentors. I have coaches. I have people I work with who help me work smarter. But the teacher only arrives when the student is ready. And the student only shows they're ready by putting in the goddamn work. Putting in the work. They're not going to waste their time on you if you're not even going to put in the work. How many people go to a trainer, go to a coach, go to a personal trainer? Let's look at fitness. Yeah, fitness is easy to understand. We all get it. How many people go to a trainer and go, what do I need to do? Tell me the secret. Tell me the efficiency. What's the secret that I need to know? Right. Do these four steps. Yeah, drink three liters a day. Walk 10,000 steps, practice a bit of gratitude, and stop eating sugary foods. Can you do that? 
Um, can't, isn't there like a hack? Isn't there like a magic pill I can swallow? What's that, what's that super shake? The super pink, super pink shake that people are drinking? No, bullshit, okay? Stop it. Work hard. Work bloody hard first. Otherwise you are not gonna get it. It's not gonna come. Somebody needs to tell you this. Life is a full contact sport and it is gonna put you on your ass if you're not willing to put in the hard work. So it's Saturday, all right? If you work a conventional nine to five, your working week may now be over. And now the work begins. Work on your dreams. Get moving. I'll see you tomorrow.